hello guys hope you are doing good in this video we are going to deploy a spring boot java application within docker container so uh, all you need is a docker file and uh, your application jar file so let's start with docker file uh, uh, here is the context of docker file it's very simple and easy uh, first line is the comment of docker file and version etc second line is the uh, name of uh, open jdk image you can uh, find a relevant open jdk image from uh, docker hub repository uh, here my application is using open jdk 16 alpine 3.13 version so it's the name of image uh, uh, docker jdk image and uh, the third line is uh, the step to copy a jar file within this path of your uh, docker container and the final step is the execution of uh, jar file at the time of uh, uh, container startup so uh, let's uh, create a doc uh, docker file uh, first of all you need to create a project directory and uh, in this project directory you will have two files one is docker file and other is your java application so let's uh, uh, map docker files syntax it's uh, same as i de defined in previous step uh, the context is same I added in docker file and please make sure that the D first letter of docker file name must be capital as same like uh, it's shown and uh, next step is to build a docker image using docker file so command is docker build minus T the name of uh, image you are going to build and uh, dot is uh, uh, for the current directory if your docker file is uh, uh, present in other directory you can define the path of docker file here so we are uh, building in the same directory so that's why we are using dot so let's build the uh, docker image and uh, it will pull the open jdk image and uh, then copy the jar file in the step 2 it's uh, copying the jar file and uh, uh, in step 3 it's uh, adding the execution command so let's uh, list for images docker image ls as you can see we have uh, uh, now two images in the local registry now there is no need of this open jdk image because uh, uh, it's already added in our uh, uh, project so you can verify the size of open jdk is 324 mb and uh, our test image is 381 mb it's the size of open jdk plus the size of jar file if you can see the size of uh, jar file is 55 mb so this image contains the open jdk and our test jar file so the image is ready you can push this image to your uh, docker hub private account private registry wherever you want to store this image you can push it and uh, if you are, are going to deploy the image on same machine there is no need to push the image to docker hub or uh, any other private uh, registry server you can just keep this image in your local registry So let's uh, run the container using this command. It's a very simple and easy command. Uh, docker
Dr. Run minus name is the name of uh, Dr. Container minus P for port 8102 is my machine's port I am going to expose for this service and 8102 is the uh, port of uh, my jar application so I can change this port if I am going to expose on uh, port 90 uh, put 90 here I am using the same port so uh, that's why you can see 8102 colon 8102 minus T to run the container in the background and T is the name of uh, docker image so let's run this the container has been started if you can uh, uh, list uh, docker processes you can see the container is listening on port 8102 uh, let's uh, check the logs docker logs minus f the name of container we used in previous step as you can see my application has been started on port 8102 now you can simply stop this service using docker stop test again check the logs the container has been stopped now start again using this command it's very uh, easy and simple to manage uh, because we named the container as test you can just uh, start stop restart and you can see the logs uh, using this name test as you can see the container has been uh, started again so guys uh, it's uh, a very simple process to deploy your java application within docker container i am going to uh, add uh, these commands and docker file in the description of your video you can just copy paste those commands and uh, uh, hope you can easily deploy a java application within docker container thanks for watching this video kindly subscribe our channel for uh, further uh, related updates take care goodbye